Hey, what's going on? This is Big Grimes. This is going to be a, a quick, quick tutorial on Sonar. I'm using Sonar 7, but this will work on Sonar 8 as well. Um, I had somebody who had two questions. The first question is, um, when you record a drum track, his drums are never on time, you know, with the uh, metronome, which is, you know, pretty common. Um, the solution to that would be is quantize. Quantize, what it does is it moves your notes on time, like to a grid. Um, so let's say if you have the quantize on the nearest 16th note, then it will move it to the nearest 16th note or to the nearest 8th note or 32nd note. Um, and basically, you can experiment with that to find out, you know, which um, resolution that you want. Most people use 16ths. Um, and the way you get quantizing is you can go to tracks, input, quantize, enable, and it makes your R on the track, you know, when you arm the track, and it turns into a Q for quantize. So as I'm recording my drums, it would make sure it's on time no matter how badly I play. Um, let me turn that off. I actually have that on the shortcut. So all I have to do is hit F11, which that's not default the way it works. I changed it, which future videos I'll show you how to make shortcuts. Um, but basically, um, another way you could do is right click in the MIDI track effects bin and then go to quantize. So you right click MIDI plugin walk effects quantize and you'll see um, resolution 16th note half note eighth note 32 note I keep it around 16 because that's I guess a standard that most most people use depends on how fast you're trying to hit the um, hit the keys so I'm going to record a drum track without quantize and then I'm gonna turn quantize on. You're gonna hear the difference. So it's off. You can hear, especially towards the end, you can hear where it's off. And I can record better than that. I just um, did it for the purpose of the video, just to make it a little off. So when I turn on quantize, you're gonna hear the difference. See, it sounds better. Let me turn the quantize off. Turn quantize on. So that's how you um, make your drums, you know, land on, on time. And what I actually, when I'm done, I can click on that track, on that clip, go to process, and apply MIDI effects. That way, because at first, when I double click on that MIDI, you'll see on the piano roll that it's off. Like my first kick is not back here, it's kind of up front, which is off. But when you see when I apply the MIDI effect, which is quantize, it moved it and moved my kick on top. See, it moved it over this way. It was like this. When I put the quantize on, it moved it over here. So, in general, that's how you get your drums on time. Um, the next question was, what would be the best uh, bass sound you should use um, to get a realistic guitar bass sound? Um, there are a lot of good guitar bass sounds, you know, like in Contact and um, just a lot of different, you know, programs that have good uh 
bass sounds. Um, like I have the M3, that has really good bass sounds. But the, the trick is, isn't really the sound itself, it's the performance. Because like, you know, when you're a bass player and you, you bend in the notes and um, just your performance is gonna give more of a realistic guitar than the sound itself. Because you can have a guitar sound that sound like a real guitar, but if you don't know how to mimic a real guitar and how to get that sound, then it's still not going to sound like a real guitar. It's still going to sound, you know, um, like a keyboard or not as real. Some people would describe it as plastic, digital, robotic. So just uh, the main thing is, you know, you want to listen to guitar players or actually learn how to play a real guitar and just really just uh, study that instrument and then try to figure out how can you mimic that on your DAW system. All right, so those are my two tips for Sonar for right now. I got more Sonar videos coming right now. I started my series for beginners. I'm going to finish it off. I've been working on writing many videos, so um, look out for that. Make sure you check me out, freebegrindbeats.com. Um, if you don't have Sonar, you can purchase Sonar there or just get more information about it. All right, peace.